All right, guys, so we're gonna finish that ankle lock up by hiding the foot. Like I said, you can finish from there, 100%. But the thing that I really, really like that's gonna to add tons and tons of shit to your game, especially if they're standing and you're going into these, is taking the leg from the outside, okay? Okay, from here, and we're just going to take our toes, take this around, and put the foot inside. So look, guys, I'm lifting up his knee, turning my knee in. This is completely legal at white belt, okay? My other foot is underneath here, so I can push him away with this now also. So watch, watch how far I can scoot back on his leg. Okay, so now I can finish him standing up, okay? Or sitting up, I don't even have to go down. But just by taking this guy's here, gonna keep this knee tight, windshield wiper this in, get that hook, push the palm of my foot to his belt, drop the knee in, and now we have a safer hook, okay? Out here, Rob can defend by ankle locking me back, okay? He actually has, if he goes belly down, and I go belly down, he actually has better leverage than me right now, okay? So, one, two, that's all you're doing. Completely legal, it's like a reap without the reap, too. Remember guys, you can't go to the inside, but I can go to the outside. So, just add here, here, close the knee, scoot them back. Now we're gonna do the same thing, down and finish. Okay, also, the reason I really like this, guys, from here, if Rob stands up, say I was here, okay, and I got into this ankle lock position. Okay, Rob can peel my foot, step back, and pass my guard, okay? So, if I come here, and then here, when Rob goes to peel, there was nothing to peel, but he's gonna try to step back, I can push him, follow, it's easier for me to sweep him, and also, easier for me to wrestle up and get top position if I want to. Remember, you should be doing the John Jones squeeze here, so you should be able to pull them around all the time when you're trying to finish that. That's how hard I'm pinching this down, okay? You guys got it? All right. Okay, push him away, close the knee. Okay, Rob, do it back to her. Put me in her. Outside, get the grip, now put it on the inside. Scoot her away, bring that knee in. Okay, way down and finish. Very good. Got a small detail, huge though. Now let's go over one more right if you're on the bottom, Rob. Okay. Okay, and Sophia standing. Okay, let's, uh, Let's get into the ankle lock position, strip through the middle. And I want you to go ankle lock position, okay? Okay, foot on the outside first. Now put it on the inside and just lift her straight up and over your head. Get the ankle lock grip though, sorry. And now how you can just wrestle up with that same exact thing we just did, okay? So take her up in the air, grab the pants, push, 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 knock them down. And it's much, much safer to wrestle up with that, guys, okay? So come back this way. Okay, so feet, same thing. And you guys, this is the, literally the exact same thing you just did. They're just standing now. Okay, just go into the ankle lock. Okay, okay, outside first. So, so guys, they, they were not even doing the ankle lock because at our gym, we don't even put our feet literally on the outside. So even though they're supposed to start there, oh. it's no, it's okay. It's just like a habit. It's just, that's how much, just so you guys know, we keep the foot on the inside, okay? So. Oh, sorry. Okay, come back up. As soon as that foot's there, they're gonna start trying to peel, peel and back step, okay? So, Safine's gonna touch it and then put it on the inside and immediately start lifting Rob up in the air, getting him on his toes, and then he's much, much easier to sweep, much more controlled, and you can come up for two and immediately start onto the passes, okay? So I love that, I love that inside position. Play with that and uh, it will improve not only ankle locks, but your sweeping and everything in general.